Now, what is this video about? You're probably wondering. What is this video going to be? What is it about? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Intros are hard to do. Who even knows when an intro starts versus when it ends? Is this still the intro or is this a whole nother thing? On July 31st, this is, uh, this is, we're out of the intro now. On July 31st, Jagex held the Summer Summit. It was this big announcement stream where they were going over some big updates they had coming out for the year. Four things got announced. There was Dead Man Mode, there was Group Iron Man, there was Leagues 3, and Raids 3. All of those things are coming. It was basically everything that everyone was hoping for. PvP, that's PVM. It's a whole new game mode, a whole new way to play the game. Uh, another leagues, everyone loves leagues, what the fuck? And it made me realize how crazy this year is about to be. Not because of all these updates, but because this year basically decides the fate of old school RuneScape. RuneScape is really hard to play right now. It's so boring to me personally. This is the same game that I would started playing when I was in third grade. I've seen the login screen so many times. Every time I see it now to this day, I'm still like, shit, here we go again. Like that meme that you guys know that people post. I'm just burnt in every way, shape, and form right now. I, I've been playing so many other games. I got into RimWorld. I was playing a playthrough of Barrows and just kind of made them kill everybody who came along. And then Varak, within like the first week, had like a, a brain that was half off. He's in a coma still. I can't get him out. I, I don't know how to get him out of the coma. We'll get him out. Varak's gonna be fine. Stop worrying so much. We'll be okay. Uh, I feel like by release, I got so burnt making a 38 minute episode. And then I worked on the group Iron Man video uh, that I made for Jagex for the entire month of July. Thanks for letting me do that, Jagex. That's awesome. Time to shit on your game. Uh, here we go. All right, everybody, get comfy, settle in, and in the meantime, I'll tell you about today's sponsor, NordVPN. I basically use NordVPN as a little tool. This is NordVPN. Everywhere I go on the internet, I carry this with me. I mean, you open it up, there's your data protection. You open Nord up carefully not to slice your fingers off. You've got your protection against your ISP throttling you. I literally used this one today. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. It's whatever country you want to be in. You're in Norway now for some reason, because that's what country's allowed to watch this video. I just feel a lot safer having one of these. Go to nordvpn.com slash Jimmy, get a huge discount on a two-year plan, plus four additional months free. It's risk-free with a 30-day free trial, so just give it a shot, why not? Everyone will be impressed with you. Be like, where'd you get that? And then you can be like, oh, I went to nordvpn.com slash Jimmy, two-year plan, plus four additional months. And they're like, what? And they're like, yeah, and they're like, you're so cool that you know that. And you're like, yeah, I'm so resourceful. Go on a date with me. And they're like, okay. It's in the link below, nordvpn.com slash Jimmy. All right, let's, uh, let's talk about video game. So let's recap some of the updates that we've gotten on Old School RuneScape this year. I guess the recent one, combat achievements, pretty cool kind of, um, except some of them are insane. I don't even want to read them let alone do them. Probably about 99% of the player base will not even attempt to complete all of them. You know, but it's a cool, uh, it's a cool update. Good job on that. Oh, ho, Mick, it's me, it's me. We had Soul Wars come out and the the Isle of Souls. They brought the minigame in from RuneScape, the original game, the original RuneScape. I have a video on that, if you don't understand what I'm saying. I don't know if people still play it. I'm sure people do. The big island came with it. There's nothing there. No reason to ever go to the island. There were some minigame reworks. Shooting Stars, that's from the original game too. Crashes into the world. And then you get mining XP. We have a fishing skill boss. I actually have no idea what Temporos is like. I, I've never given it a shot. I'm gonna go do it real, real quick. Stay, stay there. Keep an eye on the waves. Holy shit, it's the guy. Uh-oh. Tether, tether, tether. Ah! I'm fine. I did it. We're the best. Uh, we had a free-to-play quest, new dungeon for free-to-play. Just pay for the game. It's way better. It actually did bring uh, a, a cool thing. You can hold a hammer in your hand now. You can, and then you can smith on an anvil with that hammer. We got the clan rework. Clans can, you know, have more people in the their little chat now. There's like a new private area that they can all go to and mingle. I'm sure they're all doing that all the time. There's been some updates with the official RuneScape client, the one that you can get on Steam, taking the most used plugins on RuneLite. They put it in the main client through like the options in the game. And you can, you know, make squares highlighted or you can, you can read about it. I'm not gonna read it 
because I'm gonna get user in light because they have GPU. They got a few things to do before I make the switch. I don't think they're gonna do them, so. I have production reasons. You don't, you have no excuse. Go use a Steam client. It's cool it, and, it, and it pumps our numbers up and people find the game and, and maybe that'll make cooler updates happen. A Kingdom Divided. It continued this big, fat, Karen storyline that hasn't been continued in forever. I feel like the questing in this game is, is just so slow. It makes me sad because, you know, I got the... I feel like that would be one of the more fun parts of developing the game. I don't know. I, I don't get it. We also got A Night at the Theater, which basically quest locked Theater of Blood. I like that they did that. I feel like a boss that big should be quest locked. You should have a big ass quest to do before you get to that thing. They made the Nightmare and the TOB hard mode. I'll say it. I'll be the one to say it. The updates this year, not very exciting. The whole year people were kind of like, hey, where's everything? So that brings us to the Summer Summit. They thought, you know what, let's host this thing and let's let them all know that we're in the works. All these things are happening. First being uh, Dead Man Mode. They're calling it Dead Man Mode Reborn. Now they're gonna be doing combat level worlds. As a level 10, you can't get attacked by a level 110. And mark my words, framed. Torvesta, Sea Engineer, making Pures, deliberately going after lower levels in like the medium brackets to go and murder people that are fishing and doing Slayer. And honestly, please do, because that's fucking hilarious. Six way, one tick switchers destroying fishers. I am so excited. I will be watching all of those videos and I hope they all make it because that sounds incredible. I shit all over the finale. That big clusterfuck of players who are all clanned up paying for TeamSpeak servers like it's fucking 2010. One dude calling out, just throw your chinchampas in the northwest corner and fucking exploding the screen and the game can't even handle seeing everything. You know what it looked like. Not enjoyable to anybody who was unfamiliar with the game. They either knew it or I convinced them of it. I'm gonna say the second one because that makes me feel better, but uh, <laughs> that finale has gone. Now what they're doing is they're taking the top 2048 players, whoever's in the top 2048, qualify for the finals, which are all 1v1s, which is so much better. It's about individual skill to get to the final, the one guy that wins, which is what it's all about. Yeah, sorry clans. Second big announcement. We have something special from one of our awesome old school creators. Hi, my name's Jimmy, and I am a group Iron Man. I worked all fucking month long on this big project to reveal group Iron Man. Uh, I collaborated with a bunch of creators, both RuneScape and non-RuneScape. I'm gonna make a behind the scenes video for it. But yeah, group Iron Man is coming, and that's about it. Nothing really new, except now, you know, you can suffer together with your people. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see. And then we've got uh, Leagues 3. Grinding RuneScape is fun like the first time for most people, but I think Leagues gives a good opportunity for everybody, uh, both people currently grinding the main game and old players who were burnt out, come back and all enjoy just this fuck fest of XP. The one thing is in its current format is it's like a catch 22. You can play Leagues to get over a burnout that you're experiencing with the main game, but then Leagues is done and suddenly you're even more burnt out of the main game because you're not getting insane XP rates. Or you can avoid playing the Leagues and not burn out of the main game, but then you don't get to experience Leagues and it's probably the most fun thing you can possibly do with the game when it's out. There's no way to avoid a burnout. The big finale, we've got Raids 3, you know, we had Chambers of Zarek, we had Theater of blood and now we've got uh tombs of a mascot a mascot tombs of a mascot philadelphia flyers mascot gritty tombs of gritty you'll be fighting this guy you're fucked you will never beat him no one will ever beat him there's a difficulty scale you can do the bosses in whatever order you want it looks like they're going to be taking a more narrative approach to raids 3 which is really cool that they're doing that i think every raid should have some sort of narrative around it should be a story behind the best in slot items of the entire game. It just makes sense. Like what the fuck is a twisted bow? Does anyone know? Is there lore on the twisted bow? I'll find out if there's lore on the twisted bow. I'll do it. I'll find out. I'll let you know. It'll be behind me right now if there is. It's going to be expanding on the desert storyline, which is amazing. A narrative surrounding a big piece of content like that, that adds like some immersion. And that was Summer Summit. So now let's get back to the main point. And let me just preface these updates that were announced are fantastic. The developers are obviously extremely enthusiastic about making them. They're going to be fun updates. 
three of these big announcements have nothing to do with adding to the main game. Deadman Mode Leagues 3, entirely separated from the main game, temporary profiles. There's a ton of people who play Deadman Mode and Leagues exclusively, and they don't play the main game at all. They're only interested in coming back to RuneScape, paying for membership again when these things are happening. It's like when Starbucks puts out that chocolate minty drink or whatever, and they're fucking like, get it now. You won't be able to get this in a month, pussies. So then everyone flocks over there and starts stabbing each other to get to their mint chocolate coffee or whatever the fuck. You haven't lived until you've had to stab someone to get a, a peppermint mint chocolate coffee. <laughs> peppermint mocha. That's it. You gotta stab to get your peppermint mocha nowadays. I mean, people were technically stabbing each other to get onto servers when the last leagues happened. I woke up at like 5 a.m. to play that day, man. And I feel like if the game gets to that point where it's dependent on these temporary game modes, they're gonna still be focusing on the temporary game modes and how to fix those and all focus shifted to those. And then the main game is just completely neglected, which is kind of like what it feels like right now, to be honest with you. But unfortunately, when those temporary game modes end, they got other things to do. RuneScape is built for long-term goals, and not everybody really has the patience for that anymore. Because somebody who quit eight months ago comes back to give it another shot after, you know, dealing with eight months of real life, is gonna come back to the same exact game. There's nothing new. Oh, a fishing boss. Oh, how fuck yeah, let's go, dude. So then with Group Iron Man, yes, it's a part of the main game, but it doesn't change anything about the main game. There's nothing new happening there, except it's just another Iron Man mode that is entirely upon the players to, you know, make their own fun out of the already existing content. There's a ton of potential there for new content. Group quests, quests that you need two people to start, a quest that could like take place in an instance and you cannot continue within that instance unless your people in the game are there. Like a dungeon based quest or something. I don't know. Players have to have friends interested in playing RuneScape in a difficult way with them. People have school, got jobs, crying babies, crying girlfriends, you know, maybe both. It's hard to commit to something like that. There's been no big raids update since 2018. This was probably the most anticipated announcement of the entire stream. It's exciting. It's new endgame content. It's going to continue a narrative which has a ton of potential to continue on after this and expand into all new quests and areas and, and items. Expansion. Expanding. That's the key. Expanding. We're gonna get get to that in a second, but I'm just like a little foreshadow. So basically from all of this, what I'm saying is, is there has to be more focus on the main game. There's a lot about these temporary game modes that pull people in because the main game is fucking boring and there's nothing going on. We have Raids 3 that's continuing a quest line and that's it. Everything else is temporary. Exciting, don't get me wrong, but doesn't help the longevity of the game. Remember when a new skill failed the poll three times? You guys remember that? First of all, you guys are weird for voting no to that. Second of all, why are you able to say no to that? I'm talking so much I, I don't have any like oxygen left in me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna G fuel it up. If you don't have G fuel, what the hell are you doing? These devs worked so hard on proposing and developing this new skill, a new skill. No, I don't want it. Fuck you, man. That's all I'm saying. Just fletching their fucking U-longs all day. And they're just like, we don't need a new skill. I'm busy. <laughs> I don't even know how we got to talking about this. So all that being said, what is the right direction ahead? What do we got to do here? How are we going to save the game? How is the fate going to be determined? So glad you asked that audience guy. Uh, let me explain something to you. When it comes to updates we've seen for the main game recently, it tends to be a lot of reworking. So I think the game needs to shift from reworking existing content to expansion. The best updates in old school have come from expansion, not fixing old things. We don't need reworks. You're not gonna perfect something like fucking trouble brewing and stop making hard modes. That's not a new thing. Typing in new numerals for how much damage they can do doesn't count doesn't count. I remember like a year and a half ago, I talked about the construction expansion, all these new cool things for the POH. Was that a rework? No, not really. That wasn't a rework to the POH. That was additions. That was adding things to it. If you want to rework something in the game, you got to add to it. If you want to add a hard mode to TOB, add two more fucking bosses before the main one. That's how you rework or add a hard mode. Don't fucking make them stronger. I took all the maps from 2001 to 2007. Let me show you just how much this world expanded in that time. There's a little, little island here, new landmass over here, new land, new islands, fucking volcano or some shit. Just expand that shit out more. 
make it go a lot more like that. Now here's the eight year time lapse of old school RuneScape. There's a new landmass here. So pretty that one up a little bit. That's about it. They added all of Karend and they fucked that up on release. If you remember old Karend, oh my God. You know, it's taken like six, seven years to get to this Karend and that's embarrassing. <laughs> Granted players at the beginning, like the first like three years or so, were a lot more stingy about expanding nostalgia. Don't want to become RuneScape 3. That was short lived. No one gave a fuck after like the first two years, whether or not it was maintaining nostalgia factors of the game. I love nostalgia. I'm all for it, man. But do you know how difficult it is to truly feel nostalgia on old school RuneScape in 2021? Do you know how I fuck? It's nearly impossible. I have two series based on being in nostalgic eras of the game. Anybody who argues nostalgia is being a bitch. Nostalgia is gone from old school, okay? I'm, I'm so sorry to break it to you. The original 2007 backup of the game was like four years old. Old school RuneScape is fucking eight years old, dude. That'd be 12 years of the same game with no updates. There's a whole community dedicated to making RuneScape maps. They have all these tools to replicate what the old school map looks like. And seeing some of these creations made me realize how much potential there is to create new layouts and formats for ways to play RuneScape. This is a player who drew this map. It goes by the name of uh, Zigzag Ziggle. They've basically structured it to operate like an actual RPG world. The climate separations and the placement of discrete locations, like a, like a bandit hideout camp thing. And then you've got like this big city. They've got like actual river structures and shit. If stuff like this was put into the game, this is new NPCs, new dungeons, new slayer tasks, new quests, new storylines, different places to explore, different skilling spots. This is an exciting looking world. And all we've gotten is Karen which has taken seven years to make presentable. There's Fossil Island, which has like four things to do. Dungeons for Dragon Slayer 2, which was in like 2016 or something. That was five years ago, holy shit. I mean like Trailblazer League is just proof of how much RuneScape has fed into this idea of players forging their own journey, making the game fun their own way so that the game doesn't have to be expanded. The players have been, you know, doing their own thing. Do you know how stressful it is coming up with a fucking Snowflake Iron Man account with this unique idea and the idea can't be too easy. It has to be a perfect balance of fucking entertaining and then also hair pulling difficult that the average player couldn't pull off. That's not that fun, man. It's really not. There's psychopaths that do it and just keep coming up with these crazy ideas to do, but I don't want to do that. Most people don't want to fucking dedicate the next two years of their lives to a series that they had to make by like restricting themselves from the majority of the game. Give us new things to do. Just just expand the game. Make this map. Make the map of Premius in the runic landscape. Give this guy a shitload of money and buy his map. You own that thing, basically, actually. You don't need to buy it from him. Just use that. Sorry, Zigzag. You're getting your shit stole because of me. This is an MMO, man. We gotta treat it like an MMO. Expanding the game and making new things would make players stay. So I'm not really sure what the logic is behind not expanding the game. If you are against expanding, Fuck you, what the fuck? What? DMM and leagues is not gonna carry this forever. At this point, just take the polls out is where I'm, I'm leaning. That's all you gotta do, just be devs and don't listen to shitters. You'll love it, trust me. Have the same amount of fun you're having with leagues and DMM with the main game. Expand the game, don't listen to dumbasses. I guess that's, that's basically it, man. I'm excited to experience everything they announced in Summer Summit, but I do really hope that the main game gets the attention it deserves. Create new areas, new game modes, new mini games, I don't know. Anything. I think that's all I got. I'll post the behind the scenes video this month probably. I've got some non RuneScape videos coming up because I've been playing a lot of not RuneScape. Jimmy, why are we gonna toss an incendiary at Gmart? Because it was gonna be funny and then we were gonna laugh and we're gonna like, in like two years, be the like, remember that one time we were in like the little barn and then I was a detective and you're a traitor? Yeah. Motherfucker! I've been streaming every Sunday on Twitch. I just got partnered, so that's cool. So you guys can go follow me there and hang out on Sundays with me. I'm usually playing like by release doing barrows. A lot of people comment and tweet about where's my music. My music is everywhere under by release, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music. I'll always have the link to my music and all the sites that it's on down there now. So, well, I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy out there. Bye. Mm -hmm.